Hello everybody, this is Spike, um, and I am very happy to report that I did get the There Is No Spoon uh, finish the game with in eight hours achievement in Factorio, um, which was one of the toughest things I did. It took me a total of 15 tries, although many of the 15 were kind of like restarts from halfway games or, or games that I stopped pretty quick because it was obvious that uh, the map was not going to be favorable um, but what I want to do is walk you through the base um, I have launched the rocket um, and uh, and uh, I want to walk you through the base show you what I did uh, maybe there are some things that anyone who is going for this achievement can learn from from what I did um, so first off just to um, just to talk about the um, about the settings um, that I use so um, the settings that I used um, were that I turned off pollution, evolution, and enemy expansion, and then I took resource settings uh, for iron, copper, and coal. I, I took these two very big. All right, so um, that does not disable the achievement. Um, it it still uh, popped the achievement at the end, and and um, one way you can check to see whether the the achievement is enabled. See, I'll show you here. If you select these, very big, very big, very big, and then I've got those uh, biter pollution evolution expansion turned off, um, and then I generate a map and jump in. You can check up here, and you can see that. Well, for me, it showed that the um, um, that the the uh, Nero no spoon was still um, activated. So it, it is was possible to do it, and I've already gotten it now. But uh, but that's the way you can check is here under achievements once you start your game uh, if you play around with the settings. Uh, but from what I was able to figure out, um, yes, you can adjust resource sizes and you can turn off pollution expansion and evolution. Um, so let me go back here and and uh, reload the base that I was going to show you. Um, so. Just uh, as an overall view, um, it was a great map. Um, you can see there's basically no biters anywhere around. I did have to clear out uh, one biter base down here by my uh, by oil field, but other than that, um, didn't really have any biter um, issues at all. Um, so that really helped a lot. Um, I had a I had a very large um, so there's still 1.1 left. I had a very large copper field and a very large iron ore field um, right near the lake, and enough coal to support smelting for both of those. So that was really really key um, to to what I was doing. Um, so general base layout. Um, my starter base was here um, and and mall, uh, which I'll walk you through in a little more detail. Um, this was my initial power here. So the starting location where it spawned me in was, was right in here, but I put my uh, starter base down here. Um, I just wanted to get it out of the way of running, you know, um, stuff from, my, from these big fields to my smelters. Um, so my smelting columns down here were for iron. So I had four iron smelting columns and one steel smelting column. Um, and with full belts, um, I did not mess around. You can see I didn't even cover the whole patch, but I would usually um, line up, you know, at least 30 um, iner, I, uh, miners per, per belt. I, I did not want these belts to run partially full because in previous attempts that had really messed me up. Um, and same thing with the copper. Um, so the copper side, I ended up with four smelting columns of copper, all with what should be pretty full belts. You can see this one's starting to run dry a little bit, um, but but for the most part, um, full copper belts, and I still had a little that I didn't use. So plenty of resources is really, really key to doing this, this run. Um, not having to go back and place more miners on multiple patches or anything like that is really, really important. Um, uh, pl plenty of stone, like, I, you know, barely, you don't use that much stone. I, I mean, I think I only had, you know, like, eight or ten miners here for stone um, and, a, and a very small six you know uh, smelter column for the stone for for making that so you don't really need a whole lot um, and then of course oil down here there's 852 percent left I think it started at like 1200 so held out pretty good I was a little worried about that because it was only um, you know what's at 12 uh, pump jacks so so I was a little bit worried about that at the beginning but it it 
proved to be plenty. Um, so, so again, just general base layout, um, copper, iron, smelting column, smelting column base here. And then the science factories ran across here. Um, and then this is green circuits, this is red circuits, and this is oil. Um, and this is the rocket factory with the, uh, with the silo. So I'm going to walk you through all those different areas. Um, we'll start with the, um, let's run up here and we will start with the starter base. Um, so the, the starter factory, um, is a Catherine of sky minimal starter base, but I've added something, um, and I removed some, uh, something. So they, uh, she had, uh, like, you know, gun turrets and, and, uh, grenades. I left, I left one grenade factory, um, and I left the, the ammo here, um, just to, you know, to have grenades for clearing trees, which I didn't really even need that much is very much a desert map. Um, so, uh, so I didn't even use that many grenades and then, uh, one ammo for biter nests. And I, I really only had to clean out one biter nest. So I think I killed a four, total of 14 biters. Um, that was, that was it. So it was perfect. Uh, but you can see what this, uh, what this starter base does is you bring in copper, um, uh, iron ore and coal and um, it has a you know a, a big uh, smelting column for for iron and then one for copper and then it feeds you know so it creates all your basics um, power poles uh, pipes um, uh, splitters undergrounds uh, basic inserters and basic belts um, and then it feeds down here to red and green science um, and that, then all the science is always used buffer chests like you know um, to just make sure that uh, um, that you are building up a buffer in case any resources run dry or whatever. But you can see I have tons of, I've already run some rocket and I've still got, you know, 3,000 or so red in here. So I probably overproduced. I stopped it at some point. You see where I cut conveyors, it means I'm stopping um, doing that. And, and you can see I didn't even place one of those. So I ended up with uh, uh, five red and uh, five green. And that was, that was plenty. Never ran out, um, had plenty there. Um, over here, this is the part I added on. So I brought some, you know, this, this, uh, um, iron and green circuits around and, and created another inserter factory that actually is just built to feed the red and blue inserters. Cause I, I didn't, I didn't like handcrafting red and blue inserters. So it's nice to have a, a, a chest of a, of a couple hundred over here that you can pull from, um, every once in a while. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, this one I didn't use, I think, I think. This was uh, basically designed for, um, you know, like uh, uh, the the medium power poles, and and I never used it in this run. Um, so um, so that's a starter base, and it'll get you red and green science. My original sciences were lined up in this little field that's that's part of it, um, uh, but eventually I moved those down. So my base science factories, um, all the way to the rocket factories, um, and I'll I'll put a link in the uh, comments part. Of the of the video but uh but the it's called uh, all sciences and basically it's one um blueprint that runs all the way from red and green all the way to the rocket factory it shows it has all the science and it's you know kind of designed to run off of uh off of a bus um all the inputs are, are on the top side um i do not use the red and green so i i'd eliminate that and then i've made some changes to the yellow factories which i'll which i'll show you in a second um so uh so my basic uh way that I did the no spoon was, um, I did, you know, got started, got some belts going, you know, handcrafting, whatever. I got a first couple sciences done, um, up in the starter area. Um, and then I work on building the starter base all the way to red and green science. And I'll put some of the timings that I met, um, in, in the, in the comments, but I think it's like an hour and 15 minutes to get this full base running, um, set up and running. So I'm producing resources and I'm producing, red and green science. Uh, so that was pretty good. After that, I work on a smelting column. Uh, I, I get some miners and, and running back and forth to the miners is probably, you know, one of the most frustrating things. I think if I were to do this again, I'd try to figure out a way to get more miners because the miner production is all the way down here at the end. And so it's perpetually running dry. If all these other things are pulling um, the iron and the, and the circuits off, um, it's, it's not producing miners and you need miners. So um, I handcrafted a lot of miners as well as you know, keep trying to keep this running, um, pretty good, but that, that, that takes some time. Um, and then, um, you know, so after I get that going, I get the miners, I get, I get the, um, 
the mining going on the iron patch and on the copper patch. Um, so my, my iron patch is up here. My copper patch is up here. I've, I went and got, before I went any further, I got all four rows of, you know, four full belts of, of iron running and four full belts of copper. I put the miners down and got them going because I didn't want to have to come back and place miners. I wanted that, those areas running fully and not have to return those. And, and I didn't, I never had to go back, which was great. So I'll run the four belts over here and it took a little longer and, and you feel like rushed, you know, but, but it's worth it to not have to go back later. Um, the, the, uh, the smelting columns here, I did not put them all down right away. So what I, my method is, you know, put down, um, put down one iron smelting column um, and one steel smelting column. And then on the steel, this is important, I use buffer chests. So I use six buffer chests, three per side. Um, and you can see here, the way I normally set them up is it feeds here, across, across, and then back to the belt. So it keeps the flow of, of them running, but it doesn't, um, it, it, it begins to fill, fill the chests. Um, and then at the end game, when you need all the all the steel um, for the for the rocket launch, you know I just put inserters and turn them all around, so it fills it keeps this belt filled. You can see it emptied the chest on the one side, um, and then partially on the other side. So, so yeah, so I, I I put that down as soon as this is running. Put those six chests down and try to get a nice uh, reserve of of steel built up, and you shouldn't need to do any additional steel um, smelting. Um, copper, I, I placed up here, you know, a lot of my attempts, I was trying to get the copper and, and iron in the same place, but this worked better. Um, I, I think this worked pretty well and I, I didn't, it's a little spaghetti, you know, in, in the middle. Uh, but it was never a challenge finding a way to run a belt. Um, so it was spread out enough and no obstacles, no tr big patches of trees, no woods, you know, so this is a great, a really great map for that. Um, so, uh, so I get the one, the one, uh, iron, the one copper, and then I have those, um, feeding down into the factory. So the, the way these factories are designed on this all in one science, um, again, you have your, your gray first. Um, and one of the keys I learned is always, you know, keep this as a full belt of iron, right? You can see here that this, this is the only thing that's feeding is this, <laughs> this one gray factory because, you know, gray can get you. Um, and it got me a couple of times where I didn't, didn't have enough iron. If I was trying to split off from this iron to feed somewhere else, um, you can see the way this works is you, you, you know, you have your iron and then, and then you don't use more iron until you get to blue science. So, so, uh, get, get your, you know, get your, this going with a full belt and get your blue science going with a full belt of iron. So two, two of my factories, you can see here, one is coming down and going in the gray and then one is coming across and, and going to the blue. So you got gray, then you got blue. Now your science um, actually goes down here. You can see that I did it with um, 9 times 3 is 27, uh, 32. So I had 32 uh, research labs. I used the old belt braiding. This is the only red thing I had to build. So you do have to research for this for this build. I had to research red, but it's not a lot of, of things. But that's the only red thing that I built at all. Uh, but you can see the red and green, I ran it down from the starter base. I didn't put um, red and green factories on, on the end of this. I just ran it down from the original. Uh, there wasn't any reason to change that. So those come in here, and then gray comes down across, it combines with blue, and, and comes across this way. And then eventually uh, purple and yellow come in, in from the right in this way. Um, and it uses the you know the two long handle then feeds in there and, and that works really well i mean that was plenty of science i kept ahead of the science on this run which is good um, blue science usually was something that killed me on a lot of my runs um, again you can see you know i have if i have 400 left over uh, at the end uh, of the of the thing which is um which was fine but you know again blue science i mean this is one two three four this is eight um, eight factories. Um, and one thing I did add on that wasn't in the original blueprint was I added on more, uh, of the minor production and, and, um, gears and miners. Uh, but again, this needs to be a full belt of iron. Don't try to share this belt of iron with this one over here. Cause it'll, it'll get you, you need, you need one belt of iron here and one here. Uh, there's no other way around it. Um, so, uh, so after I get my, um, gray going, um, and I have the one column of each copper, 
um, iron and, and steel. Um, then typically what I'm, what I'm trying to do after that is get my green circuits going. Um, and the green circuit factory, this is a blueprint that I created. Um, I'll try to get it into Factorio prints, but it, basically I stole it from Paul Gross's speedrun videos. Um, so Paul, um, does some really, you know, he's had a world record a couple of times, but he, he had this spe specific design of green circuit factory that looked really, really good to me. I just love the idea of this full, you know, four full belts of green coming out. Um, this is running a little dry right now. Probably, probably the copper is starting to, to, to struggle a little bit, but, but yeah, I just love the idea of this four full belts of green coming out. Cause so many of my runs, I struggle with green at the end. Um, and, and this seems to work pretty well and it's pretty interesting the way it, it kind of, you know, uh, buffers, uh, iron and then refeeds it through to the second half of the factory which is which is really good and and but for this thing i dedicated basically the green circuit factories you can see i i dedicated two full lines one here and one um coming down across here so full two full lines of copper and you know basically two full lines of iron so now i've used up all my iron right um but it, but it's it's um it's really critical the greens to get those to get those full lines going through um so i'm using you know, using two full um lines of copper here and then a third over here so so as far as where my smelting columns go you got one copper smelting going to the science bases and then three two to the green and and one over here to the red red factories and then for steel two full belts of of steel coming here to the green circuit factories um, that's, that's really important. Um, so, uh, so after I get the greens going, um, then it's time for oil. So, um, my oil on this particular base was, you know, a little bit further away. It was down here to the right. I had to clear out one biter base and then I had to run the oil up, uh, from there, but you know, I won't run all the way down there, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, 12 pump jacks turned out to be plenty. Um, and, and this takes a little bit of time. So the biggest gap in my timing is doing this red you know the green the red and the oil before you can get started on blue so that's always the struggle for me is trying to get that done within four and a half hours which i think is really a key that you get you get your full you know stuff going within four four and a half hours but um i use eight oil factories um i do research advanced oil processing um i use plenty of extra tanks if needed um you know, I had to run copper over or uh, coal over here for the plastics factories. Um, again, I use the same kind of eight buffers for plastic, um, and I'll show you why when I get to red circuits. But, but you know, this is this is important. Have plenty of uh, plastic. Um, but you know, ten, um, yeah, ten, ten chemical plants to make plastic. Um, eight refineries, um, two for sulf uh, sulfuric acid. And then just the one for um, for lube and the lube, you know, you actually have to build a bunch of extra tanks because you just don't use it um, with a with a spoon launch. Um, you're not doing robots or anything, so so you know you're just not using a lot of lube. So I had to create extra tanks to store all that, and then um, the yellow, um, the light oil. Um, of course, you immediately set up six factories creating solid fuel, and then that solid fuel. Uh, feeds half your power and you can see i'm actually out of power over here um not too worried about because i already launched a rocket but but yeah so so over here um i'm actually having so the n amount of power i have so this is this is 26 um and i think uh up in my other location which i probably don't have a radar on oh yeah i do so if you look up here um this is probably another you know maybe another uh 20 so you know 40 to 50 um um burners you know the the uh steam generators uh 40 or 50 40 to 50 of those uh, was plenty of power i did have a t little bit of a power brownout at one point which was you know due to uh, not having these set up in time but but uh that's okay i mean i made it and and you can see over here um tons of buffer of the solid fuel probably more than i needed i mean this is this is ridiculous this is six you know this is 12 chests um uh, but you want to you want to not clog your your light fuel up um and that's really really important to keep that uh, petroleum gas running you need to make sure that you know you're pulling off the light um and then and then over here is four factors which is more than enough for the for the heavy 
uh, converting that to solid fuel. Um, and then eventually when you get advanced oil processing, I was using, uh, what, four factories to go from light to petroleum. That's good, especially when you get, you know, your sulfuric going and you're trying to keep that plastic um, production going. Um, so it's it's really, really key to stay ahead of it in petroleum. You can see I'm out of petroleum gas um, already here. So I don't know if it's because I'm out of oil or, yeah, I'm out of crude oil. So it's just not pumping crude oil as much as it was. Um, but it, it uh, yeah, it, it, this factory has worked for me pretty well in, in a couple of runs. It wasn't really the thing that cost me. Um, so, the, so the eight factories seems to be enough, you know, eight of those and then, and then, uh, and then 10 uh, plastics and then, you know, solid fuel off of that. Um, okay. So that's plastic. Um, so after I get the, the oil factory running and I get the plastics coming out, um, then, um, I come over and I build my red comms. Now I, I, I would like to do something different if I tried it again with the red. Um, the problem here is I got a half a belt of, of plastic and a half a belt of green circuits. And you can see that it, it, it just, when you get down to the third column here of, of 12, um, red circuit factories you're running out um, so you can see here I have to put in chests um, and then run back and forth between my green buffers and my plastic buffers and fill these chests and that's what I was doing kind of in the end game to get the rocket launched to get the final research done get the rocket launched um, you got to keep those red circuits flowing and I still don't have like I, this is probably not even a full belt of red that's coming out of of uh, basically what's 36 red factories so I'm not getting you know what I should get out of red so I think I would do a little bit different build here and try to keep the plastic and green from having to be babysat um, at the end game but it, it worked it was fine and the great thing about this map is everything is pretty close so so running back and forth didn't kill me on on time but I, I just you know I can't express enough how important it is to have a ton of this green and keep this green flowing and keep the resources to the green factories going because that's what's killed me because you need so many greens when you get to yellow sign. So, okay, so now I've gotten, um, you know, half my green going. I've gotten one column of red and, you know, placed blueprints for the rest. Um, so once I do that and I get some red circuits flowing, then I come back over here and, and start with the blue factory. So I try to get that blue factory in. This is usually taking me about to about four and a half hours, uh, four to four and a half hours to get the, to get the blue factory going. Um, this blue factory worked pretty good this time because I was very focused on making sure it, it got enough, um, iron plates. And, uh, you know, this is, um, this is what, uh, 10, 10 blue circuit factories. Um, and this has cost me in past run, uh, attempts. Um, you can see here, I had, I had about 400 left at the end. So, so not, uh, not a ton left over um you know i i got it across the finish line but but blue is definitely something that can cost you um and to me what was killing me was not having enough iron coming into my blue um steel wasn't really a problem um so you pull off the steel belt um because i think you know you don't need the steel for the rocket until you've already researched the blue right so you know, you can turn things off. You can see here, I just turn things off by cutting conveyors. I know there's other ways to do it, but I'm, I'm kind of set in my way. So I come along, and as soon as I don't need something anymore, um, I just go through and, and just cut the conveyors so that it's not feeding resources because I want those resources then diverted to the end game. Um, okay, so uh, after blue, um, then, you know, Typically what I'll do is, you know, after I get blue going and start buffering and start researching some of those um, sciences that require blue, then I go back and I finish all my smelting columns, um, iron and, and, and copper, um, finish building the, the green circuit factories fully out, finish building the red circuit factories fully out, um, and then I'll come over here and do purple um, science. So purple science is right here. You can see the factories are de de deleted, so I, sometimes I'll... Um, when I'm done with a certain science and, and purple for whatever reason, I always make too much purple. I think um, this particular um, build is is probably too many um, uh, purple factories, but it's um, one, two, three, four. So it's eight purple factories. I seem to have no problem getting plenty of purple um, in my runs with with this particular build. Um, so so, you know, nothing really to comment about there um, seems to work pretty well. Um, get plenty and then and then those combine over here and they combine with the yellow um, so uh, so purple um, is next I usually get through that pretty fast uh, no big deal 
um, and then I will build the yellow. Now, a couple things I change about the yellow, a couple things I do with the yellow factories. Um, the blueprint just has the one belt of, of red and the one belt of green going in. But you can see here that these factories, especially with speed modules in them that are putting together the, the purple uh, chips, um, they will suck all those green chips up because these purple chips require 20 green circuits on only two reds. So you're, you, this, these things will suck every green up. So I actually have a second um, belt of green. So I'll bring two full belts of green down here, one of red and two full belts of green. And then I run the, the second green belt around so that it joins kind of most of the way down here um, so that the, you know, the last few of the purple circuit factories um, – will run and then they come around the bottom and go up this side to feed the uh, speed module factories um so so the way this works is that you know the the red and green come down and around and then and then the um uh the the purple and the and the speed modules are felt onto the belt now you see the belt going this way right now but when i'm doing yellow science the belt is actually running north it's running up this way and up here which I've eliminated the factories once I didn't need them anymore. But these are the four yellow circuit fact or yellow science factories. So you put the yellow science, you run the, the speed modules and the and the um, um, the chips this way. Um, you fill chests with buffers, you know, and and you get your yellow the yellow science going. So once that's done, once yellow science is done, I immediately take this belt and I run it down. So you can see, um, you know, instead of running north south or south to north, I'll turn it and run north to south and, and then bring it back around and then it'll come over to the rocket factory um, to feed the, feed the rockets factories. I guess I could have taken it out this way too. E either way, um, you, can, you can take that belt around. Um, this is um, you know, also um, part of what you're doing in Yellow Science, of course, is, is, is batteries and, and wires, which are uh, copper cable, which is, which is kind of weird. But yeah, those are here. Um, I actually have a little factory here, which I removed, which does, um, the, um, you know, the, the accumulators, which you need for the satellite. Um, so I'll, I'll use this area to create those as well. Um, and just, just to note about that, you know, so after I get the yellow science going, I'm trying to get the resources to make the rocket. I'll put a couple of chests over there and I'll start to gather stuff. Um, over here, you can see a factory removed right here. This was the one that was collecting solar panels. Uh, so I put a factory here to collect solar panels, which is pulling, you know, steel, copper, and green circuits to make solar panels. Um, and then over at the end of this line, I'm pulling, I'm putting a factory that's um, that's pulling batteries um, and and copper cables and steel plates off of that side to create the uh, accumulators. Um, so so that works pretty well. Um, you can see here is my little you know chest where I'm where I stored my stuff to make the uh, to make the um, uh, the satellite and the silo um, so while the yellow science is running I'm building the rocket factory and collecting the stuff for the silo and the uh, satellite um, and this is the build for the rocket factory so quite a number of factories um, I don't know how many this is but so you have basically uh, 18 um, for the um, rocket control units and then I have uh, 20 for the for the I forget what those things are called um, the uh, yeah, hold on these are the um, low density structures so I got 20 for that and then uh, again for the um, for the rocket fuel, I've got 18. So it's 18, 20, and 18. Um, you can see here at the top, um, what I'll do is uh, is I'll actually run run you know the uh, rocket fuel out of this factory into a chest, and then the rocket fuel out of these two or the uh, low density uh, structures out of these two factories into chests, just to collect those for the satellite. Once I get those collected for the satellite. Um, then I then I turn those off and, and let them run down the belt. Uh, I think this is pretty well balanced. Um, I do think that, you know, it just depends to make sure that you've got the, the uh, right resources. Um, the blueprint has, for some reason, has steel and copper um, sharing a belt and then a full belt of plastic. But if you look at the recipe, 
it's basically 10 steel plates and five copper and, and plastic. So I, I changed it so that the copper plastic is uh, sharing a belt and, and the steel comes in full, uh, full belt. And that worked much better. Um, so, so if you do use this blueprint, um, f fix that um, because that, that it's not balanced the way it was. Um, and then down here, I usually put, you know, some, some buffers on, um, each of these in case one runs ahead of the other. But, you know, in this case, they, they ran pretty well close to each other. It, it worked out really well in this last run. Uh, the balance was pretty good. Um, and, uh, you know, then, you know, using the three inserters around the side for the three, um, these will come down on one belt, but you just use filter, um, inserters to, you know, to fill buffers. So this is, this is the buffer of, of, uh, low density structures this is the buffer of rocket fuel um and you know not, they didn't really buffer much um and then you know kosher solid fuel comes around um and goes up goes up this way um and that feeds all these factories um so you know it just depends where you put your plants um so i will post the uh the map seed in the comments um and uh you know i hope everyone found this uh found this useful um so um, thank you very much. If, if anyone wants more information, you know, just, uh, just leave a comment on the, on the YouTube. I'd happy to share more if there's any questions. Um, so very good. Thanks for your time. <coughs>